As we were concluding uh, the briefing a short while ago in downtown Atlanta, uh, the shooting at the Petrie Center Mall, uh, our 911 center at about 4.30 uh, received a report of an emergency on a bus that was at 45 Ivanhoe Boulevard in the city. An officer arrived about one minute later uh, when he confronted the perpetrator that then forced the bus driver to drive off. 39-year-old Joseph Greer is facing several charges, including murder and 11 counts of kidnapping. A short time before he got on that bus, by coincidence, 11 Alive interviewed him because he happened to be a witness of the shooting at the Peachtree Center Mall. This man boarded a bus and got into a fight with a passenger, which then led to a shooting and a hijacking. Greer is accused of both hijacking the Gwinnett County Transit bus and shooting a passenger. That passenger later. We're following several breaking news stories tonight at 6. First, a Gwinnett County Transit bus leads police on a chase from Atlanta to DeKalb County through Gwinnett. We know at least one person is in custody right now. It all started when Atlanta police officers were called about a dispute on the bus. Fox 5 anchor Tom Haynes joins us live now to talk about what happened next. Tom. All right, guys, a lot of information to sort through here. When police showed up to investigate that dispute, the bus took off and sped up I-85 North and then led police on a long chase before coming to a stop. This all started when Atlanta police got called to Ivan Allen Boulevard about a dispute on that bus. The bus then took off and headed up 85, as we mentioned. Officers forced the bus off of the Jimmy Carter exit, and that's when the bus hit multiple police cars and at least one innocent driver. Can you imagine being on the highway watching all of this unfold? Why wondering why this bus is on the run? The bus continued down Jimmy Carter Boulevard onto Mountain Industrial Boulevard with more than a dozen police cars right behind it. It finally turned onto Hugh Howell, came to a stop near Rosser Road, and then just moments after the bus stopped, a number of people got off the bus, some with their hands in the air. SWAT teams went onto the bus. They blocked it with one of their SWAT vehicles. You see that suspect being led to a police cruiser there. 39-year-old Joseph Greer is facing several charges, including murder and 11 counts of kidnapping. A short time before he got on that bus, by coincidence, 11 Alive interviewed him because he happened to be a witness of the shooting at the Peachtree Center Mall. Molly, walk us through what he told you there. I think first, let's be clear. When reporters are on scene within an hour of the shooting, which I was yesterday, we're just looking for witnesses to talk to. And that's what I was doing yesterday. And as I was getting closer to the scene, one man who told me his name was Joseph Greer said he was inside when it happened and saw the shooter. So I asked if I could interview him. This is our interview you're seeing on the screen now. Now, to be clear, please say that shooting that I was interviewing him about happened at the Peachtree Center Mall Food Court around 2.15 yesterday afternoon, shortly after we interviewed him for only about four minutes. At 4.20 that same afternoon, the GBI says this man boarded a bus and got into a fight with a passenger, which then led to a shooting and a hijacking. Greer is accused of both hijacking the Gwinnett County Transit bus and shooting a passenger. That passenger later died. This is a clip when I talked with him before he got on that bus. I'm sorry, I apologize. I'm bipolar, let me tell y'all that. I'm off my medication for like two weeks, but Grady gonna give it to me. Um, so I'm leaving out the thing. So I see the uh, the shooter, you know what I'm saying? I guess the shooter, like, to me, he'll because I'm 6'5", 285, so. Uh, this is the first guy on the scene right here with the curly hair with the waves. He didn't want to stop me from being. Authorities say 39 year old Joseph Greer hijacked the bus with 17 people on board, holding a gun to the bus driver's head. Hostage situation on the that bus. PD's on scene. Our 911 operators trying to navigate what was a gunman with a gun to the head of a bus driver saying, don't stop this bus or else worse will happen. This is the type of thing that obviously no one uh, is, I mean, it seems like the movies. Footage from above shows the bus sideswiping two cars, causing others to collide as they tried to get out of the way. Johnny Gilbert got a call from his wife on board telling him one man shot another man. They hung up, scared the gunman would target her next. For about 45, 50 minutes there, I had no idea what was going on with my wife. After chasing the bus for about 40 minutes, police popping the tires, bringing it to a stop. Tires were balding on one side of the bus. As you see, it's leaning towards the right. 
so we were able to position our bearcat to keep it from moving any further, thus allowing the bus to be immobilized. That injured passenger was transported to the hospital where they died. Authorities say the suspect is a convicted felon with 19 prior arrests. As we were concluding uh, the briefing a short while ago in downtown Atlanta, uh, the shooting at the Peachtree Center Mall, uh, our 911 center at about 4.30 uh, received a report of an emergency on a bus that was at 45 Ivanhoe Boulevard in the city. An officer arrived about one minute later uh, when he confronted the perpetrator that then forced the bus driver to drive off. All right, man, here we go again with this shit, man. I'm having a hard time understanding. Now, it's one thing, it's one thing to run from the police in a car. But goddamn, boy, you on a damn a charter bus. Somebody lost their life during the process. And then, the, according to the video, they saying that he had a gun to the driver and made him do that shit. This is why I say businesses got to put their pride to the side and people got to be able to protect themselves, especially when, when, when able to. And everybody know, well, not, maybe not everybody knows, but the state of Georgia, boy, you're allowed to have your concealed firearm. So God only knows the reason why they won't allow their employees to, because if you want to if you want a city bus, school bus, charter bus, whatever kind of bus, you, you can't, you can't pick and choose who's able to ride. You can't pick and choose who can come on and come off. Like, they got to do something, man. They got to do something to protect the people, to, to protect the people on the bus and to protect the, uh, the the employees and the drivers that's riding the bus, that's driving the bus because uh, a passenger lost their life behind this. So if you, if, you, if you don't think that the families of the people that was injured, even the bus, the, the, the driver of the bus itself, if you don't think none of these people is going to file a lawsuit against the company, boy, you're smoking something good, boy, I'm telling you. You can't, you can't have that, man. This man, think about all the people that was hit. Man ran into the cop cars. Now, I, under, I, I understand he had a gun on him, but it's not going to come on to him. It's going to be the company that got to pay the, they got to pay the price. Going to work, you driving, whatever you're doing, the objective is to do the job and go home every day at the end of the day. You can't sit here and worry about customers and, you know, riders getting on there, holding you hostage and putting guns on you. Kill. Somebody got killed on the bus. That shit's no good, man. That shit is no good. So you best believe that that company is getting sued, man. And one thing I tell you, nobody wants to get on the bus not knowing what not knowing that they're going to make it to where they're trying to get to or make it home at the end of the day. You're going to lose money. Either way, you're going to lose money, whether it be lawsuits or lack of people riding the damn bus. And that goes for, like I said, the school bus, charter bus, city bus. It don't matter what kind of bus. Because I'm going to post clips at, at the end of this video. It's happening on everything. It don't matter what kind of bus it is. It's happening all over, man. This shit is sad, man. This shit is real sad, man. I'm telling you, they got to end up spending a couple extra dollars. If you're not going to let your bus drivers or employees be armed while they're in there, then you got to put armed security or, or, or whatever. Some Somebody has to have something on there. Metal detectors on the bus, armed security on the bus. They got to do something, man, because this shit is going to keep happening and it's been happening. It's not good at all. Condolences to the family who lost their loved ones, man, but this shit, this shit is no good, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think and what they can do to improve the safety on the buses, man. As always, appreciate y'all rocking with the channel. Like, comment, subscribe, and uh, tap in for all your trucking news and content.